They were on the run in Pakistan for more than a decade, roaming the country with Osama bin Laden, the most wanted man in the world. But in the wee hours of Friday morning, Osama bin Laden's three widows and nine children finally left Pakistan and headed to Saudi Arabia. In a brief statement Friday morning, Pakistan's interior minister confirmed the departure of the bin Laden family, saying they were sent to Saudi Arabia because that's where they asked to be sent. Word of their departure came suddenly right before midnight on Thursday. First reports came that a plane from Saudi Arabia had landed at the airport in Islamabad. Then word came that a minibus had pulled up to the house in Islamabad where the family was being kept by Pakistani authorities. Eventually, the 14 family members entered the bus and they headed to the airport and off they went to Saudi Arabia. The family's departure comes one year after the raid on the Osama bin Laden compound by U.S. Navy SEALs. In fact, the anniversary of that raid is next week. For these past 12 months, this family has remained in limbo while being held in custody by Pakistani authorities and also being questioned by Pakistani authorities. During that questioning, it was the youngest wife of Osama bin Laden who revealed that while he was on the run, while the family was on the run, they lived in a number of homes in a number of major Pakistani cities, fueling that question, how did they do it? How did they hide without being detected by Pakistani authorities? Last month, these three wives were convicted by Pakistani authorities for illegally entering Pakistan. They were sentenced to 45 days in prison. Last week, that sentence was completed, setting the stage for their departure early Friday morning. Reza Sayyid, CNN, Islamabad.